Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about JSX element, element array, react node, react children and all these different uh, APIs which react is providing. Okay. So these are nothing but a types. When I say the types, when you write the simple hello component and when you mouse over to the hello, what you will see, hello is returning a type JSX element. Right, so JSX element, it can return JSX element, JSX element array, JSX uh, react dot react node, react dot react children, react dot react child array. So these are different types you can say your react component is returning. Okay, and we can talk about this one by one, JSX element because they are, this is just a simple JSX tag, and then JSX element array, then JSX react node, then JSX react children, then JSX react child array, right? All these are the possibilities this uh, hello ca component can return, right? Okay, so currently this is a JSX element because if you go to the div, because now we are using the react type definitions and all the JSX tags like button, HTML nodes, div tag, everything has their type defined react.html attribute HTML div element. This is the type for it. If you are writing button, then the type for that will be the different. If you are writing a span tag, the type for the span tag is defined by the, the React library. If you see here, HTML span element, right? Now, we'll talk about the children APIs, like uh, when you wanted to render another component into uh, one component, like parent-child kind of relationship, where one component can render like two or three components, okay? So we are going to write a simple application component and then we will see all these a relationship, parent-child relationship and how to define the types for it. So we are saying export default. This is the component which we are exporting and this is our component application. This is a functional component and what we are returning here is now we are going to build one child component. Let's call it as a box component. This is the custom component which we are going to write. Okay, inside this box component, we are again going to have another component. Okay, so let's say I have one box component. Again, why this is camel case? Let me fix this. Sometimes editing on the browser is very hard and it is little slow also. I'm using this sandbox so that I can show sometimes the output also instead of switching the terminal. So this is like I have a child component. Let's say I have p tags, h1 tags and all just to show for a simple demo. So this has a single children, this is a multiple childs and now we are going to define the box component, right? And this is important because box component is also receiving children's of same type. So how to define the, how to define the typings for the children? So Okay, now let's uh, define our child component, which is box, const box, and it is going to receive something in the props, which we are going to render. And what it is returning, it is returning a simple section or a div, let's say. This is closing div and it is rendering the children. and children we are receiving in the props. Okay. Now you can just simply assign any and it will work fine because we are not defining the typing. We have deferred the type to any, but this is not a good approach. Let's define the proper types for this. So we have created a type box props and for the children, currently let's say any and how we populate these types something like this or you can also do react dot functional component and just pass the type box props 
and you can skip anything here right but the only thing is why should we use any what all different options we have like uh, react dot element react dot react node all these options are there let's try something and we will try to understand their meaning right now if the children is of type react node and you save it so now children is of type react node if we just see the definition react node is all of these string number boolean so it's like a parent type but what if if you are trying to use react dot children react dot react children then it will you will see the warning right because the children element is not assignable to the type box props so how can we make it compatible because react node is having all these types inside it so whenever you are assigning a children of react node it will accept it because you can see react element react children react child react node array everything is inside it and it will accept this particular type of props and now you can write an anything here it will accept it because react node is like a master type it contains string number boolean react dot react element react dot react component everything is covered here so let's try to understand their meaning of what is the jsx element what is the react dot react child okay so what they say jsx dot element this doesn't accounts for an array at all but the jsx element so the problem with these things these are talking about single element or element array this doesn't accept a string and all react dot children array it accepts multiple children but it doesn't it doesn't accept a single child right because this should be a multiple children react dot react node accepts everything right so this is the winner that's why we can define the children of type react node okay this is just a simple example to simulate the children scenario because we are writing component parent child and we have to define the type for the children then what it should be it cannot be any you have to specify either react children children area or react node okay uh, thanks everyone so in the next video let's write a simple pokemon application where we are going to get the data from uh, async api and we are going to use use effect hook